start talking. Uh, go for it. Hi, uh, thanks for joining us. We are you know, Group 5 Consulting. Um, and um, I'll, I'll go and introduce myself, and then we'll go around the horn and, and have you know the team introduce themselves. So my name is Christopher Coons. My name is, my Patrick. Name is Kelly Schopper. My name is Patrick Smith. Uh, my name is Lawrence McCracken. My name is Mackenzie Bevanel. So through our analysis of your organization, we have identified three key um, challenges that we would like to present to you today and, and help you come up with solutions. So the first one is employee retention. The second one is competition. And lastly, it, we have uh, we, uh, supply chain issues. Uh, so the first thing we want to talk about is uh, employee retention. As of now, the turnover uh, for a Walmart employee is 44% 40, of employees uh, quit after just uh, one year at the company. Uh, we believe some of the issues causing lower retention is a lack of a livable wage. Um, I know from personal experience when I worked there, I started making $17 an hour when people that were there for 20 plus years were still making 12. Um, and then we also uh, found a stat that says 60% of workers uh, would leave for just a dollar or two pay increase. Uh, some other issues we, uh, we found are employees think that they're either understaffed and overworked. Uh, they also don't feel safe in their work environment. Uh, they feel like their management doesn't li listen, uh, they ignore their issues, and there's a lot of favoritism going on in the company. Uh, so the solutions that we found would be to uh, uh, set a competitive wage by uh, like comparing other Target, Myers, etc. Uh, we also wanted to make the employees feel uh, more wanted, so we would want more flexible hours, longer breaks, more PTO, and then other like events that could prevent burnout. Uh, some other things that we found were rewards and uh, recognition. Um, you don't; it doesn't always have to be monetary. A lot of a lot of employees just want to feel appreciated, and then. Um, I think having an open space for employees to talk about their concerns, that's an unbiased, uh, it's just a good option. Yeah. So the actions that we propose Walmart takes would be to ensure parries and benefit packages are competitive. You can use market research to determine the appropriate pay and benefit levels, and that could include sites like Indeed, Glassdoor, and Payscale. We also recommend that you implement a recognition program. Recognition doesn't have to be coupled with a reward. Um, it can be presented just during a monthly meeting, maybe giving kudos to a couple of team members. Uh, there are also paid programs like Nectar, Nectar and Kazoo that allow you to award points that employees can redeem for reward, rewards. Um, you could also implement something like an employee of the month program. Uh, we also recommend that you establish an environment where employees feel safe discussing issues that they might have. Uh, as for evaluation of your solutions, we recommend that you measure uh, turnover, both voluntary and involuntary turnover, by comparing terminations to active employees in a given time period. We also recommend that you track market ratio, um, which will help you determine your competitive salary standing compared to others. Um, you can also track performance of employees, um, like how much freight they completed, how many customers they helped, et cetera. And uh, we, for recognition, we would recommend that you either use a paid program like Nectar or Kazoo that tracks those things automatically for you, um, but also record any formal recognition that you give and then use that to determine uh, like an average number of recognitions per employee. Um, and you could also provide monthly surveys to employees and um, allow choice of anonymity so that you can get some truthful answers on how they feel about how the company is treating them. 
So like Chris stated before, um, the second problem that we ran into for Walmart is the level of competition that they are running into. And we have narrowed it down to be Amazon and Target to be the major competitors of Walmart. So some solutions that we think that could solve the competition problem um, would be to enhance the OPD experience and offer um, other delivery options. And the second solution that we think could really help Walmart would be to remodel their stores or like revamp their image. And by doing this, it would um, give the customer attraction back to Walmart versus going to Amazon or Target. So some ways to evaluate um, whether our action plan is successful or not. Um, uh, benchmarking is, is one of them. Um, obviously, we would use Amazon and Target um, as the um, the benchmarks, um, as they've kind of set the the standard um, as it comes as it relates to you know store store remodels and um, speed to delivery to the end user. Um, so, an action plan for Amazon um, would be you know shifting more attention towards updating and enhancing our um, electronic shopping capabilities and um, a target plan or target action plan would be you know organization and renovation of uh, of our stores and a rebrand uh, products to increase customer appeal next slide please so the next issue that um, we discovered for Walmart in the third issue was the Walmart supply chains. Um, and the main issue with the supply chains that currently is the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and the pandemic has brought many struggles and challenges to the world in the modern business world. Walmart has experienced disruptions to both domestic and international supply chains, um, which has resulted in consumers and customers of Walmart being faced with empty shelves when they go grocery shopping. Um, one large issue is that employees charged with filling orders and stocking shelves uh, have been leaving the company faster than they can be replaced. Um, another large problem is bottlenecks at domestic ports and drastic rises in demand for products amid the pandemic. Um, ports do not have the capacity to support the number of cargo ships incoming, and so there's a lot of situations where ships have been remaining stagnant, stagnant in ports for days um, prior to being offloaded. Whereas prior to the pandemic, this process would have only taken a couple of hours. Walmart has also faced issues from human rights activities. Um, this is because many of Walmart's products are made in the Xinjiang region of China. And then the final supply chain issue that uh, we're gonna discuss is maintaining sustainable supply chains. Um, so the solutions for the supply chains that we have found is uh, the first one is investments in supply chain management. So this means monetary investments and, um, and as well as hiring and getting more resources for uh, people in, in the supply chain process and employees. Also promoting and training thousands of supply chain associates in the upcoming year. New practices and innovations such as the transition to remote working, digital, digitalization and AI uh, have led to ever-changing technologies, technological advances um, that can change Walmart supply chain processes. Um, we could shift to a more delivery-focused approach and proactively monitor supplier risks, as well as decarbonizing their product supply chains. For supply chain action, um, we, um, we, we suggest that we can hire 20,000 permanent supply chain positions to help move products through our facilities as quickly as possible. Um, chartering ships and diverting shipments through less congested ports and continuing to monitor and adjust shipping routes would be a task that a large number of newly contracted employees, uh, part of the 20,000, that will invest their time in. Expanding delivery methods and capabilities, routing online orders straight from stores to homes, Continuing to expand Walmart's automation capabilities in existing facilities would help get product, products from distribution centers to stores faster. And category level targets and initiatives that we can set, such as transforming their product packaging to 100% reusable, uh, recyclable, compostable private brand packaging by 2025, 
and then private brand suppliers to label food and consumer product packaging with consumer friendly recycling information. And so for the evaluation of the supply chain, uh, we see that Walmart has historically been a vendor managed inventory based system, which means that the manufacturers become responsible for managing their products in Walmart's warehouses, which has forced Walmart to adjust their supply chain strategy in many ways, um, establishing a competitive advantage in the modern era by being able to make sure that every product is ready for sale uh, and use by the consumer. And um, one great way to evaluate the supply chain is the distribution costs. Um, and the distribution costs for Walmart have tended to be much lower than its competition, which has helped supply it with a competitive advantage.